Hey guys, welcome to the 53rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the random class. And the random class will just allow you to generate random numbers. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, the first step in using the random class is just creating a new instance of the random class. So, we're going to type random. We're just going to want to name our instance. I'm just going to call it R and then we'll set it equal to a new random class. Oops. New, new random class. Alright, so now that we have that, we can just type out the name of our instance of our random class, and then use the dot operator to access all the methods inside of it. And as you can see right here, we have a few different methods, but the first one that I'm going to show you how to use is the next method. And the next method, without passing any parameters through, We'll just return a random number that is not negative. So now we're just going to display this uh, number in a message box to make sure that it worked. Alright, so now we should just get a message box with a random number inside of it. Yep. And as you can see, these are all different numbers, there's no repeats. So those numbers were fairly high, those were, I don't even know, maybe in the billions, but anyways, if you wanted to like um, have a number that was in between 0 and 100 or something, well you can do that, you can just pass parameters through here. And the first one that you're going to pass through would be the minimum value that you want to generate, so we're just going to put 0 in there, and then the maximum value. And we just want the maximum value to be 100, so we'll generate a number in between 0 and 100. So now when we debug, we should just get a random number between 0 and 100. Yep, we got 52, 89, 54, yep, it's obviously random. The next method that I'm going to be showing you how to use is the um, next bytes method. And the next bytes method will basically just fill um, a byte array up with random bytes. And as you can see right here, it calls for a byte array to fill. So in order to um, use that method, we're first going to have to pass a byte array through. So we're just going to create a new byte array right here. I'm just going to call it buffer. And we'll set it equal to a new byte array that has five null elements. So now we're just going to pass um, our byte array here, which we call buffer. And it should return um, a byte array that is filled with bytes. So now we're just going to um, convert this into uh, a string so that we can make sure that it actually filled the byte array with bytes. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to create a message box and we're just going to use the bit converter class to convert our um, byte array into a string. So we're going to do bit converter dot to string. We're just going to put our byte array in there which is called buffer and basically this will just convert it into a string. So right up here we have um, a byte array called buffer that has five null elements in it. Then we're using the r.nextbytes method to fill that byte array up with random bytes. And then we're using the bit converter class to convert our byte array into a string. And then we're displaying that string in a message box. So every time we click this button we should get random bytes inside of the message box. Yep, they're all different. And the final method inside of the random class that I'm going to be showing you how to use is the um, next double method. And the next double method will basically just return um, a random number in between 1 and 0. So it will be like 0 point something. So we're just going to do r dot next double and it will just return, it says right there, returns a random number between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. So we're just going to display this in a message box to make sure that it um, actually does do what it says. Convert this into a string. Alright, so now when we click this button, um, we should just get a random number between 0, um, 0 0.0 and 1.0, so we should get like point something. Yep, we got point 
three, five, whatever, and point one, whatever. So we know it's generating a random number. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on generating random numbers. So see you guys.